Hey everyone, welcome back to Nexus Core. I'm Richard and today we're actually going to get into something a little different. So I was reached out to by Bandai who is well known for Digimon, One Piece, and with their new upcoming TCG Battle Spirits. We have one video of us playing Battle Spirits uh, using the flash decks that Bandai has sent us. And today we're going to be opening up the Battle Spirits Influencer Box. So I wanted to real quick say thank you to Bandai for thinking of us and reaching out to us for um, wanting to share Battle Spirits. And it's honestly a game I'm actually really excited to play and build a community with and show off more content on the channel in the future. I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into opening this thing up. All right, so I've got the, the box right here. So we're just gonna show you guys what is in the little influencer box. I'm gonna try and fit it in frame as much as I can so you guys can see what what it comes in it. And I also got my uh, my box cutter here. Nice little, oh, that was easy. Um, nice little incision there. Oh, oh, that's clean. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. Hold on, let me, let me get it out of this real quick. Oh, wow, that's, that's nice. Look at that. Oh, that's really, really cool. Wow, hang on. Just gotta battle spirits. This is a really, really nice box. Wow. Gonna go ahead and open this up. Slide that out. Oh wow. That is that is really, really nice looking. Just go ahead and uh, pop this open. Slide it up. Oh, oh, that is clean. That is clean. That comes oh, the paper quality, the paper and the the Battle Spirits Saga emblem on that as well. No, oh, it's not, it's not a, it's not a twisty. You just, just slide it off. This is an experience. This, bravo, Bondi. This is, this is all about. I'm all about experiences when it comes to these things. Dear Summoner, welcome to the world of Battle Spirits Saga. You've been selected from the bravest summoners throughout Earth and the six realms to experience Battle Spirits Saga BSS before anyone else. Here you'll find a treasure trove of epic BSS equipment, some of which can only be found here. A booster pack of Donna History, the first ever booster set with pre-release in March and full release in April. There we go, full release of the game in April. Congratulations, you are one of the first summoners on Earth to tear open BSS booster packs. I have a set to start playing right away, including a set of cores. Another flash deck, cool. Play map, usable with your half deck and throughout your BSS journey. So it comes to the play mat, a deck case to hold your BSS decks and cores in the same place, uh, a world and game guide to study the lore of the six realms and brush up on your summoning skills too. A holographic poster to display the glory of Supernova Dragon, Sigurd Nova. It's kind of like, I'm assuming it's like the avatar, the mascot of the franchise. An absolute ice shield promo card, which you may find invaluable protection for journeys into the realm of flame. This alternate art card is exclusive for you. The card does look like a mandatory four of, so I mean, three to go, right? <laughs> and our eternal gratitude for being part of the launch of Battle Spirit Saga. Your mission is to help spread the gospel of Battle Spirit Saga. Summon your friends, summon your fans, and let the world know about this epic new competitive card game from Bandai. Until we meet again on the battlefield, sincerely, the Battle Spirit Saga team, Bandai, with the logo right there. I'm already impressed. I haven't even opened the, the, the I haven't even opened the contents yet, and this is this is cool. Bravo, Bondi, and the Battle Spirits team for putting this thing together. This is really really cool. We'll put this aside. Open this bad boy back up. Uh, contents of the box. So it shows the uh, promo, this, the cores, and everything. Um, launch event. Um, oh yeah, this was about the Vegas event. To kick off the launch event, Battle Spirit Saga recently announced launch events around the world totaling for over $350,000 in cash prizes. Uh, so, like I said, uh, but, wow. Hang on. I was about to jump into the, the, the events, but this isn't, this is, let me look at this deck box. What? I, I mean, like, that's insanely cool. This whole thing, wow. Okay, and then the uh, the Donna History Booster Pack, that's really cool. Our cores, which are taped nicely, I'm gonna just leave those there. This is also, hang on, try and get this out nicely. 
Okay, got the got the ice shield out. That looks cool for influencer. I so ice shield is like basically for Vi Vanguard players. Think of this as your perfect guard for battle spirits, but like every deck can run it. It's a white card. Burst cards don't really have costs. You can just play them and then the burst can activate for any deck you're playing. So this is just basically a generic PG that every deck is gonna run at a four of. This this is really cool. So this is basically what this is. And then obviously the Battle Spirits players, they know what this card does. And this is the, uh, that's the Flash deck in there. So let me actually just go ahead and uh, pull this out. This is, I believe, the storage box. World Guide and Game Guide. Okay, so let's just go ahead and pop this open. Slide this out. Oh, it's, it's a book. It's a book. Oh, that's, a folds. It, it folds. Realm of Flame, Realm of Gloom, Realm of Radiance, Realm of Frost, Realm of Forest, and Realm of Water. So these are, it, it feels like Bionicle all over again. Am I the only one? So it gives like a little, little introduction about each of the realms in it. Here, just like it, it, it folds like all the way out. This. It's, it's longer than me. Like, like I think it's it's about six feet tall. It has to be. Um, and there's a backside too. So it just talk, kind of talks about what the different effects are. Cores, card types, things like that. Fold this nicely. Wow, I'm surprised I did that on my first go. Oh, I guess this is like the feud that's going on lore-wise between Siegworm and Queen Miduk. What do I want to do next? What is this in the back? This looks like a poster. It is a poster. So I'm gonna pull this poster apart real quick. What's actually really convenient is I just started getting back into, oh, it's glossy. Sorry, <laughs> I just got into um, putting posters up in my room for, you know, in the office here. I'm actually excited. Da, 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 da. It's shiny. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. I'm assuming that's Seagworm. It's got the, the first booster pack. Get the half deck, get the booster box, get the trial decks, the trailer. Oh man, this is cool. This is this is really, really cool. I'm not even halfway through this thing. All right, I gotta roll this back up, make sure this bad boy doesn't get damaged. And then I gotta find a frame for it. I'm for sure framing this in here. This is so cool. We gotta keep going. This one's actually like sealed. Oh, there's the flap. Open that up. Ooh. That's really, it's nice and clean. I like that it's black. I like the clean, sleek. I mean, just look at this thing. I mean, right? Look, it's it's neutral. There's not a lot of colors. I mean, if anything, it's literally grayscale. There's some color barely here. You can kind of tell there's some color in the mat, but it's very intentional. And I, I'm digging this for sure. I'm just gonna put this right back in the box. I'll let the poster back in there. And I think the next thing I wanna do is actually open up the booster, the the box, not the booster box, the, uh, the deck box, because this is also really, really nice for a custom deck box. Oh, this is also really nice. I mean, look at that. Okay, so it's got the, 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 the top half to hold. I'm assuming it's like about 60 cards sleeved is what it seems like it's meant for. So it's not a hundred. From what I'm understanding is that it's about a 50 card deck. I've only really played with the flash deck. Oh, it's got a little dice storage. That's so cool. Oh, it's got a little dice storage on the bottom. Battle Spirits deck holder in the top. This is, and it's got the logo on the back. This would be a really nice way to do Vanguard deck boxes. I'm not even gonna lie. Like it just is, the, the, the cards on the top, your dice on the bottom like this. This is a really, really nice design. I'm digging this a lot. I think it's time to pull out the flash decks. This is the same flash decks that we played with for the Battle Spirits video. So if you guys haven't checked that out, there are a little, a few misplays because we were still learning the game, but I believe this is the exact same flash deck. Yep, needlers, troopers, the captains, the troopers. Yeah, this is the exact same flash deck. Yep, this is everything is exactly the same. So we've played with this before, but this is really cool. So there's a flash deck to kind of get people to start playing. And since I have the other ones at the moment, um, I can kind of use those to kind of teach some people how to play, but I'm really looking forward to those trial decks, especially. I'm going to start opening this pack of Dawn of History BSS01. There's 12 cards in this pack, which is actually like, it feels thick. It feels really thick. I'm going to open this up and see what we get. Starting off, 
Great bow angel, cool. Let's see, make sure you got that all focused in. Illusiona, Iguana Knife, love that card. Flying Turtle, Flame Fish, Flying Arc, uh, Heavy Tank, Curiosity, Caladrius, Magwo, Blaze Dragonoid, The Abandoned Guillotine, which is your Nexus, uh, Agnifian, I don't know this one. Ooh, Burst Venom. So this is a, uh, what rarity is this? Uh, uncommon UC, I'm assuming that, that UC is uncommon. And is that it? Soul Core. You can use this card to represent one Soul Core. That's actually really cool. I never even knew that you could do that. You could just use a card as your Soul Core and attach it to your monsters or your uh, spirits. Duh, battle spirits. What does this even do? Burst Venom, Burst. When an opponent destroys your spirit, select one spirit, remove all but one core from it, and place them into their owner's reserve. You may then play this card's cost to activate its flash effect. Select one spirit and it gains two BT BP during this turn. Um, so this is cool. So you can kind of mess mess over your opponent's uh, plays by removing their cores if they're gonna try and finish you off. So that was a cool pack. I'm actually I actually really like this idea of having the soul core as a physical card as opposed to the uh, this. This is nice too, obviously, because this is like the whole aesthetic. Is that you have your cores and then your red core is your soul core. But if you would rather use physical cards just for representation or just so you don't have to carry more stuff, that's cool. Oh, I'm stupid. The point is, is to keep your cores and your dice in here because you can, the game relies on physical game pieces to play the game. Yeah, this is this is everything. This is the entire contents of the uh, of the influencer kit. I'm already beyond stoked for this game just with this alone, with the deck box, the mat, the poster, the the ice shield, everything. This is just a really, really, really cool bundle. So um, thank you again to Bandai for reaching out and for giving this really amazing opportunity to participate in learning how to play this game and you know everything that's gonna be coming in the near future for Battle Spirits in general. So thank you so much again, Bandai, for this crazy, crazy cool opportunity. Um, I can't say it enough and I'm gonna keep saying it. <laughs> um, if you guys are really interested in playing Battle Spirits, I highly recommend it. It's a really, really fun game to play. It's gonna be new and it's gonna be fun and I'm looking forward to it. So. Thank you all so much for watching and here's to more Battle Spirits content in the near future. So cheers.